We have all heard about the dangers of fentanyl, but now there's a new deadly drug emerging in our area. It is an animal tranquilizer called xylazine. On the street, it is known as Trank. And while it is unknown to most, it is sadly familiar to the family of 29-year-old Tommy Crossman. He died in October of 2021 with the drug in his system. It was a shock to his family and the coroner. It's just a different world and you don't get to have, you don't get to experiment because you're going to die. There is no reversal agent. So, you know, never use alone. So you got your friend with you. They have the Narcan. They know what's going on. If there's enough xylazine in there, it doesn't matter. You're gone. Now, since Tommy's death, Trank has shown up in 23% of fentanyl busts by the DEA. The agency is now issuing a public safety alert about this drug. And joining me now to talk about this is Luis Agostini. He is a public information officer with the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, Chicago Field Division. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hi, good morning, Anita. Thank you. Um, it's actually Sylvia. Sylvia. Yes, thank you. Sylvia. Um, but explain, what exactly is xylazine? So xylazine, the street name, uh, is Trank, and that's because it's essentially an animal tranquilizer. It's only approved for animal, for veterinary use uh, by the FDA. It is not approved for human use. Unfortunately, we are seeing xylazine show up more often in the illicit fentanyl supply, and that's causing a dramatic increase in overdose deaths. We know the fentanyl epidemic has been well documented as our nation's deadliest uh, drug threat, and the presence of xylazine is just making it more deadly. Okay, why in the world, if this is for animal use, would this be put in drugs? What does it do? So it's a non-opioid, it's a very powerful sedative. And in, although it's not an opioid, it has opioid-like effects. Uh, and the reason why it's being inserted and cut into the drug supply is the same reason, kind of the same reasons we're seeing fentanyl in the drug supply cheaper to obtain and cheaper to make. Uh, it's really easy to get xylazine. Drug traffickers are finding it really easy to get xylazine. It's available on websites that cater to the veterinary profession or even websites that really have uh, no requirements to show proof for a legitimate need. So drug traffickers, they are ruthless and they don't have any regard for human life, but they are very business savvy and profit oriented. So they're conserving their drug supply of cocaine mm -hmm. and heroin by adding in cheaper fillers of, uh, of xylazine and fentanyl to stretch their supply and increase their profit margin. Okay, besides causing deaths, and you are seeing an increase in this, this drug also causes open wounds so bad they can lead to amputations. And our reporter spoke to someone who said their wounds on their arm were so bad that you could actually see the bone. It's pretty bad. It's uh, called necrosis. So rotting of the, like you see right there, rotting of the human tissue, human flesh. Definitely one, uh, one toxic effect of xylazine. Also causes, uh, it causes heart issues, breathing issues, dizziness, even coma. So it's really deadly and uh, it's definitely an issue that we're seeing. Wow. So I understand there's a uh, strip test for fentanyl, but there's nothing for Trank. Um, is there anything on the horizon? And with uh, this final time, what would you want to say to our viewers about this? So to the viewers, there really was never a safe time to, in, you know, to really engage in uh, illicit drug abuse. But right now it's even deadlier. So between awareness and, uh, you know, just raising awareness, having those conversations around the deadly threat of drug use posed by fentanyl and now the combination of fentanyl xylazine, we're just urging folks to have conversations around the uh, deadly threat that exists. We'll say that the DEA is working to schedule xylazine uh, under the Controlled Substances Act. Right now it's under the FDA, so they're, they have lead. And the Office of National Drug Control Policy, they just labeled the combination of xylazine and fentanyl as an emerging threat, which will lead to greater resources and action uh, from the ONDCP, so that's on the horizon. Okay, Luis Agostini with the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration in Chicago. Thanks for joining us, a really important story. We appreciate your time.